Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It is going to be a new Will I Buy It? An exciting Will I Buy It video for me. But this is my weekly series that I post every single Wednesday. I chat over all the new makeup releases and discuss what I'm interested in, what I'm planning to pick up, maybe what I am passing over. I will link my playlist down below. We are inching closer and closer to episode 200, which I'm very excited about. I will also link the community playlist, which I started. So any creator who makes the style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist if you want to see a bunch of different opinions on all of these new releases but we have a lot to chat about this week so let me go ahead and get started i have talked about this here and there in youtube videos lives instagram lives twitter you know the youtube community tab but i did uh, also want to say that i am planning to keep posting um videos on my regular schedule maybe even a little bit more than my regular schedule as we all kind of fight through this and get through this together um, I am very fortunate that I am able to have a career from home and um, I know a lot of people are at home but I also know that a lot of people are feeling probably what I'm feeling right now which is definitely a lot of um, anxiety and there's just a lot of uncertainty at the moment so if I can still come on at, at my regular times and just to give some content to distract you with I, I think that'll be a lot of fun I've been leaning really heavily on YouTube videos on Instagram videos, TikTok videos, uh, because it's a lot when you log on to the internet. I don't necessarily consider myself an entertainer in that sort of sense, but in a way, I kind of am. Um, but I at least know I can still continue to make videos, I can still continue to edit videos and put them out, and hopefully we can have fun together and still talk about things that we really love to do, as again, we all get through this time together so i just wanted to say that i wanted to say that i hope that you all are doing well i've had a lot of conversations with many of you i know it's kind of different from really all over the world and even from state to state here in the united states and there's different situations happening but i sincerely hope that um, everyone is doing okay and that we'll get through this together but i did still want to talk about the new makeup releases there's definitely still a lot going on um at the moment i am very excited for this week um this has been a, a week that's been on my schedule for a long time and i was really looking forward to it and i'm still really excited to to share it if you haven't seen the news yet but um, it's very exciting for me to have my own collaboration featured in a Will I Buy It video. That is, that's really exciting for me. Um, so if you haven't seen yet, I am doing a collaboration with Ofer Cosmetics. I announced it in my live chat last week, Tuesday, here on my YouTube channel. Uh, I do have another video up on YouTube um, that went up on Monday. That's a get ready with me using all of the products in our collection, talking about the collaboration choosing the products, choosing the names, choosing the shades and all of that. So I will link those videos down below. But um, my collection with Ofer Cosmetics is officially launching this Friday, which is the 20th. This is the PR box. The PR box we did have a pre-sale for on this past Monday. I'm actually filming this on Monday like I normally film my, my Will I Buy It's. And I'm filming a little bit later because I've been trying to do my best to keep up. I've been getting so overwhelmed in a really really good way of course with messages and comments and dms and people sharing and i'm so i'm so thankful for that because especially at a time right now like i just really wasn't sure i didn't even know if the launch was even going to be able to happen we did have a launch party planned for this friday a meet and greet down in florida all of that of course did have to be postponed which definitely makes me very sad but i get it um but you know it was something that i was really looking forward to as this video goes up my husband and i were supposed to actually be in florida <laughs> uh, flying down to florida today wednesday um for all of the launch celebrations and all of that so that had to happen um, i'm still really grateful that we were still able to put the launch out because it's something that we've worked on for such a long time it's something that i've poured myself into um wanting to make this something that i love and that i think is great and that is so special and important to me but hopefully a lot of others can love it too so but yeah um this again this is the pr box so this was the pre-sale that went up on monday um and there is going to be some limited quantities of the pr box as well on friday when it launches on the Ofer cosmetics website that'll be at 1 p.m est um, but in the collection we have a bronzer duo a blush duo um my highlight is coming back as a permanent item and then there's also a lip 
lip duo with a liquid lipstick and also a lip gloss i am wearing everything on my face today i actually did a live chat on the ofra cosmetics youtube channel this morning too we have the bronzer duo in river which has a matte and a shimmer side we have the blush duo in chiclet which again has a blush side and a shimmer side I was able to do a favorites collaboration with Ofra in the summer um, and we came out with the March Beauty Word highlight which has two pieces of Pillow Talk and two pieces of Star Island. It is now back as a permanent item and it has been renamed to Start Inspired uh, which I am so excited about. So the highlight is back and it is back as a permanent item. All of these items are permanent which is very exciting for me. And then we also do have the Lip Duo. It has the Story Liquid Lipstick and then the Millie Gloss and I'm wearing both on my lips today also um, so the PR box is 129 you can use codes on these um, Ofer does have affiliate codes with um, several influencers my affiliate code is Samantha the highlight the bronzer and the blush are all $35 and then the lip duo is $27 and again everything will be launching this Friday on the Ofer website at 1 p.m. EST the highlight the blush and the bronzer are also going to be available at Ulta online which is so exciting I don't know if it'll be on Friday or if it'll be at a later date but those three items will be coming into Ulta Beauty which is crazy to think about that I'm gonna have products on the Ulta Beauty website um, it's been such an exciting week um, you know trend mood featured these indie makeup spotlight hot fire makeup dupe that um, just so many lovely Instagram accounts have been sharing about the release i don't know why i didn't even think of that either i remember getting off the live chat on tuesday and indie makeup spotlight which is run by amy loves makeup had already posted like she had done screenshots from my life and i was like oh yeah i i mean seriously i feel kind of like silly saying some of these things but like truly i was like what and then when i saw like trend mood posted and hot fire makeup i was like whoa wait what they post about new makeup releases and i'm like <laughs> like I truly have had that kind of moment. Um, it's been so fun. I've seen a few people mention it now in their Will I Buy It's as well. I saw Angelica and Amy both um, put theirs up on Sunday, which was really so cool. And I'm so grateful. So even though this week is not the week that I think anyone would have um, <laughs> thought about or had scheduled on their calendar, it's still just a really special moment to me. And I wanted to be sure to include my collection in this video, but I do have other videos as well if you want to check out more information. And I'm just really proud of it. It was extremely challenging um, coming up with a collection, the products, the theme, the shades, the names, all of it. I have said that I've always but I not always because I feel like in the beginning I wouldn't have understood but as I've gone throughout this career I think I've been able to understand more what must go on to put out a collection what must go on when a collaboration is happening um, but even now going through the process myself I have a ton of respect for influencers and brands that can do something like this because it is very challenging there's a lot that's put on you there's a lot of expectations that are put on you um, so to kind of create something like this is is very hard but it's it's also extremely exciting at the same time and I feel very grateful to have this opportunity. So I did want to touch on those. Okay, um, I think that's everything. I was gonna try not to spend like too much time on it because I know I've been obviously talking about it and sharing about it a lot. At the same time, it's obviously something that I'm extremely proud of and I want to share about and it's news that I've been keeping under wraps for such a long time that I'm like, I can finally wear these products and not type like, do you like it in the description box under the blush I'm wearing and stuff like that. So um, yeah, thank you to everyone who has supported it. If you get the PR box or any of the individual items, you know, if you already have the highlight and you're like, I don't need the PR box again. If you just want to grab the lip duo or just the bronzer or just the blush or whatever it may be, any type of support and even just sharing it or talking about it. If you're not in the market for any of these products right now, if you're on a no buy, if you just simply are not interested but you still would like to share about it, honestly that helps so much. Um, you don't have to only buy something in order to support someone. Um, even sharing about it or just being kind in the comments or anything like that, that really does go a long way. So. Thank you guys. Thank you for continuing to support me and letting me have something like this pop up in my Will I Buy It video. And I just really do appreciate it. So thanks. I was really trying to get through that segment without crying. <sighs> 
I deserve some chocolate. <laughs> All right, moving on. There is a new collection. Okay, I'm gonna scoot over now. But there is a collection coming out from ColourPop Cosmetics that definitely caught my eye, and I got so many tags on this one for sure. So they were coming out with the Making Mauves collection. So we have the eyeshadow palette in Making Making Mauves. There's a Super Shock Shadow Duo, two pressed powder blushes. There's Lux glosses. Uh, I am definitely really curious about this eyeshadow palette. I've seen a few people have their videos up on it, makeup just for fun. Amanda, she's one of my friends here. She's great. She does a lot of ColourPop videos, um, and she like she's fantastic. So I watched her video, and I was really impressed with this palette. I love mauves. I mean, part of my lipstick is mauve. So um, I I think this one really speaks to me. Definitely, blushes do also look really pretty, but especially because I know that I'm like I've already if you guys have seen like the close-ups of my chick lip blush you can tell that that baby has gotten some use to it that's what I've been wearing so much it's probably what I'm going to be continuing to wear quite a bit but I do think the eyeshadow palette is really really beautiful and I think I'm going to be planning to grab that one so that is what I am interested in the moment from that ColourPop collection another thing that ColourPop is coming out with is the a new collaboration with Disney, and this is with Mulan. So we have an eyeshadow palette for $22. There's also Lux Velvet Liquid Lipsticks, Lux Cream Lipstick, a Lux Gloss that you can purchase the lip bundle. There's two blushes, the face and lip bundle, and there's also going to be some items from the 4th Ray skincare um, line under ColourPop. Or you can get the full collection for $78. This is going to be available March 19th online at ColourPop. So when I saw this one, I don't feel like I gravitated towards it as much as I did the Making Mauves. I did also recently purchase the Makeup Just For Fun, who I just mentioned. She did a collection recently with ColourPop, and I ordered that, and it is, oh, I think it's coming this week. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that, but it came with the uh, Lilac palette from ColourPop. There's also a Super Shock blush in there. There was a lipstick, a brush, and I'm missing one thing. That I can't think of right now, but a super shock shadow, maybe. Um, but anyways, but I ordered that one. I'm honestly, I'm most excited about the lilac palette because I don't have that one. Uh, so that one is on its way to me, which I'm very excited about. And then I am planning to grab the making mobs as well. I really do like the color pop formula, and I, you know, that one really spoke to me. So um, out of out of the new releases happening from ColourPop, I think I'm going to be good with Amanda's collection and then the new Making Moss palette. But I would love to know what has your attention from those. This isn't like a new makeup release, but just makeup news that the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty has started. So it started Sunday of this week. Um, so Ulta 21 Days of Beauty typically does happen in the spring. There's daily deals every day where items are discounted. There are hot buys where you can buy items at a discount throughout the whole time. I usually do a video on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but with March, with the collaboration with my March Madness series coming out, um, I had planned to travel. Again, I was supposed to be gone Wednesday through Saturday of this week, and I was also supposed to be gone um, in two weeks. I had something really exciting planned with a few other bloggers as well, um, and I was really looking forward to seeing them. And, of course, we've had to postpone that trip as well. But with two different trips, I just I couldn't figure out where to put in my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty video. But now that I am home... <laughs> woo um and staying home um i i don't know would you guys still want to see that video i feel like so many people's videos have already gone up and i would probably already miss a week but let me know if you would still be interested in seeing it i just don't know if it's really necessary for me to do at this time i truly haven't even i need to go through and look i haven't even looked at all of the deals yet so that's that's not good on me because i will say too the past I, I feel like the past two or three Ulta uh, 21 Days of Beauties, I haven't bought anything. Sometimes I go for like that four, like three for four or something like that with their minis. They have these minis that you can purchase for and you get a discount or you get them for like the price of three or something like that. That's kind of been the only thing that I tend to go for. But again, I haven't looked at the calendar really closely, so I'm not sure. Are you planning to shop the sale? Um, you know, definitely let us know. And if you would want to see that video from me, let me know if you're like, girl, I'm good. Then I get that too. <laughs> Alrighty, moving along, I see some more new eyeshadow palettes that are coming out. So Viseart is coming out with a new palette. This is one of their Petite Pro palettes. And it's the, is it Shushu? I remember watching Angelica's video on Sunday. 
and someone had left a comment saying how to pronounce it but now i can't remember how they said to pronounce it but it was some maybe like shoo shoo i can't remember it says inspired by summertime travels Mm -hmm. sweet playful and evokes memories of tiny coastal villages in the south of france mm -hmm. there is eight shades <laughs> for thirty dollars oh, what a weird time it's so funny i was talking to my husband about this the other day i was like 2020 was like i'm gonna travel i am getting out there i've said it in youtube videos i've said it in youtube videos like one of my goals for 2020 is to get out more travel see more meet more people like bang 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 i had two trips planned in march i was like let's get it going no no <laughs> no no <laughs> again it's fine it's it's fine i I get it. There's something bigger at play here, but I'm like, isn't isn't that strange? Like every other year, I'm like, maybe I don't know. Should I go? I don't know if I want to go. I'm scared to meet people. Oh, I don't know. Uh, this year, I'm like, let's go. Yikes. So, anyways, getting back to this Beautylish palette, it is very pretty. You have that hot kind of like Barbie pink in here, this pinky shimmer. Uh, I don't feel like I need it. I feel like there's other eyeshadow palettes that I've already purchased and I'm still waiting on or I'm about to purchase. Um, Viseart's quality. It's not like my absolute favorite. I don't think it's terrible. And I like these petite pros actually better than some of their larger palettes, like the larger 12, is it 12 or 16 pans? Um, I like these little palettes more, but I just don't think that I need it at this time. Um, speaking of very expensive eyeshadow palettes though, my girl Charlotte Silberry, hi girl. She is coming out with new luxury palettes. So these are her quads that are $53. I just think that's really pricey. I've gotten a few in PR and I like them, but I just, I, I don't, I can't, it's just a lot of money for four shades. Um, so we have super blue, green lights, copper charge, and mesmerizing maroon. I really like the concept behind these. I like like that green. I don't even wear green. I have no idea why like camo or khaki green gets me every time because I don't even wear green a lot on my eyes. But for some reason that quad, I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, but then like the the one with um, more of the mobs, I think is really beautiful too. That very neutral one, the pop of blues. I like that you have the different options like that. I think people would definitely appreciate it. I just, I don't think that I need it. Uh, and there's also going to be matching eye color magic liner duos for $30. One side is matte and the other side is metallic. And then also the feline flick liquid eyeliner pen for $30 in black and brown. These are available March 12th online at Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't think that I need anything from this collection. Eyeliners, I, I like and I wear, but they're usually not a release that I'm like running around like a crazy person wanting to get that release, if that makes sense. All right, Kim Kardashian or uh, her makeup line KKW Beauty is coming out with a new collection. This is the Classic 2. So it includes an eyeshadow palette for $45. There's nude glosses for $20 or you can get the bundle for $200. There is the full collection, which is $240. The Classic Palette Duo is $85, and the Lip Duos are $32. Will be available on March 20th. I will say, I saw that recently um, her, Miss, is it like the Mrs. West collection came back. That released, and then it went out of stock, and then it came back. I truly, when I first saw this promo photo, my first time I scrolled by it, and then I started to like look a little bit more closely in the post on Trend Mood, because I thought it was like her, one of her collections being re-released, just like that Mrs. West, because it does, I understand like classic too, and and all of that, but it just, it does look really similar. KKW Beauty is a brand that I've said, I feel like, I, I just almost wonder if the packaging was a little bit different, if maybe I would get more excited for the releases, but something about it, I just, I tend not to really gravitate towards them. And what's interesting is like, I do, I love neutrals. I love, I don't, I literally have one eyeshadow on my eyes today and then just mascara, okay? Um, I did my live chat with Ofra and I was really focusing on the face and everything, but like, like these are my tones, these are shades that I wear, but for some reason I can still never get excited about them and I almost wonder if it's like a packaging thing. I don't know. So not very interested in this collection. I will be passing over that one as well. Uh, Melt Cosmetics is coming out with their Rust Eyeshadow Palette. So, okay. So the Rust Stack is now a palette with 10 shades. All I see right now is coming soon and I don't see a price on it, but usually Melt Cosmetics is a little bit more on the higher price tag. So I think that they're kind of taking some of their stacks, which is what I feel like Melt Cosmetics was really known for in the beginning, and making them into palettes. So if you have the stacks, again, you, you might not need them, but you might like the idea of the palette more. I mean, I don't know. It's your, 
it's your makeup wrap is totally up to you truly i like this more as a palette than i do as a stack out of the stacks i always i did think were interesting but i never bought any of them even though i would see a ton of people using them on youtube but i was like eh, i don't know just like no i'm just like not really feeling it um so i like it as a palette i don't know if i would buy it though i don't know if i would need it especially with the other palettes that I'm buying. And this palette to me kind of gives me more of like the fall, almost like the fall grungy vibes. So as we go into, why am I going to do this again? As we go into warmer weather, I have said it in two different videos recently about like how warm it is and helping spring make its way here. And both days that those videos have gone up, it has snowed and it is snowing it's not snowing right now but it was snowing like two hours ago okay so i'm like why do i keep saying things like that again i th i have a feeling the price tag is going to be a little bit higher than i want it to be so i'm probably going to pass over it but i have to say that i like it and i like it more than the stacks but again that's just my personal makeup vibes let's see that might do it for the eyeshadow palettes um stila is coming out with the double dip suede shade and what the double dip suede shade and glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows is that one name that can't be one name there's two ands it's the perfect pairing of matte and glitter magnetized duos and 12 striking pairings so you can mix and match to create different looks and then they're going to be 24 dollars so i'm not really surprised to see this coming out from steel i feel like they're definitely very well known for um their glitter and glows their liquid shadows they came out the suede eyeshadows recently so definitely not surprised to see this coming out from them Someone just created a duet with me on TikTok and I'm very nervous. I, whoo, that makes me very nervous. I don't really know what that means. I, get, I feel like this release definitely makes sense to Stila. I'm not surprised to see it, but I don't go for these a ton. I really do like their liquid glitters, but I haven't tried the suede ones. And again, it's just not a product that I tend to reach for a lot. So probably going to pass over those. See some skincare. So we have a new product from First Aid Beauty. This is, oh, and it's also going in the Trend Mood box. So this is uh, the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30 by First Aid Beauty. Um, so you can, it says you can wear it alone or under makeup and it's $34. Uh, oh, it says it also has a sheer tint that blends seamlessly into all skin tones. It's oil-free, non-comedogenic, won't clog pores. That's really nice. I was definitely interested in this one. I actually did request it through my Octoly store. I saw it pop up there and I requested it and I got an email a couple hours later and it was like, we're out of stock. I was like, dang it. Um, I have been using retinol some more lately and I actually recently have been put on a prescription retinol as well, which is just like amped up even more. And when you do use retinol, you are more um, like susceptible to the sun, sun damage um, and skin damage, sunburn, all of that. So I am very much on my SPF game, like even more than I usually am. I'm even more up on my SPF game uh, at this moment. So I was definitely very curious about this one. So I'm pretty bummed that it was um, not available on the Octoly site, but I definitely want to purchase a new sunscreen. I've talked about one from Supergoop. Um, Kylie Skin had one too. I probably wouldn't purchase that one, but there's one that I'm like, I want to have one and I'm leaning towards the one from First Aid Beauty. I do like a lot of their products. I feel like a lot of them work with me, work with my skin. Um, so this is the one that I'm leaning towards at the moment. It's $34. It's also coming to the Trend Mood box. So I definitely want to see what else is going to be in the box because so far I would be pretty excited for this one. Did anyone get the last Trend Mood box with the Ula Henriksen products? I would love to know. I got my emails because I'm on the email list but I did have most of the items in there so like I mentioned last week I was planning to skip over it uh let's see there is a new release from Farsali this is the rose gold elixir 24k moisturizing gel cream it's a new weightless gel cream instantly adds hydration to skin uh do, 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 formulate it with rose hip seed oil 24 karat gold and hyaluronic acid $39 will be available March 23rd. That's not even a big day. It's not an exciting day at all. It's just my birthday. <laughs> I'm just playing there, but I mean, it actually is my birthday. I don't feel like I need a new moisturizer at the moment. And I am, um, you know, the rose hip seed oil, the 24 karat gold. I don't think, I think that's just more of like an aesthetic type of thing. And like, ooh, that fancy. Um, hyaluronic acid is nice for the skin, but I don't feel like I need it. I've been really happy with my milk makeup 
vegan milk moisturizer at the moment and also Murad has a vitamin C moisturizer with SPF 30 in that too. So I've been using that one quite a bit also. So probably going to pass over that one. Uh, let's see. Sigma Beauty is coming out with some new lip products. I actually just got these in the mail, which I was really excited for. This is the Infinity Point Lipstick. Features a patented ridge with a unique teardrop shape that's designed to stay in a perfect point throughout use. That's nice. Hydrating formula, moisture rich color, long wearing, magnetic lid, satin finish for $25. We have a red, a nude, a mulberry mauve, and a bright peach nude. I did just get these in the mail. I am an affiliate with Sigma. My code is Samantha over there. Uh, and I was planning to maybe do a lip swatch video on Instagram. I've been trying to do more videos on Instagram, probably because I'm now killing it on TikTok, quite honestly. Samantha March Beauty, if you have TikTok, just really slay in the game over there. Um, but I feel like I've been making more videos because then I can also like use them on TikTok and use the TikTok on Instagram and all of that. So I was thinking about doing a lip swatch video because a lot of these shades I do think are really pretty and I'm curious to try out the formula. $25, I mean, I think that is more expensive for a lipstick, but you can use affiliate codes on those, which, you know, always help take some money off. So definitely let us know if you're interested in that one from Sigma. Uh, I see some new favorites coming out from Sephora. I talked about a few, I think it was last week, but I feel like there's even more coming out. I have the Fresh Squeezed set. This has a Sephora face mask and lip scrub, a full size um, glow recipe avocado sleeping mask, the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Gel Cream. I've heard a lot about that. The Milk Makeup Watermelon Face Mask, the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, and the Too Faced Matte Primer. That sounds pretty good. Um, the Marc Jacobs I would be interested to try. The Milk Makeup is a full size product um and i don't watermelon does not react with my skin very well so i've actually tried it and i had to declutter it i have the ula henriksen oh, that sounds pretty nice what is the one from glow recipe the avocado sleeping mask that sounds like a good one there's also the poolside party set you have a fresh sugar rose tinted lip balm the jouet skinny dip highlight a lot of people really like that highlight the way wave spray patrick ta major body glow oil sephora lipstick in spring break is a full size the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, Boom Boom Cream, the Super Group Sunscreen, ooh, and the Tarte Mascara Full Size. That sounds like a nice one too. Hmm. That does sound like a good one. I'm kind of interested in that. I don't need every product in there, but there's like a few products that I'm really feeling, including that Super Goop. I've wanted to try the Jouer Highlight. I do like the Boom Boom Cream, especially the travel sizes because they're easy to throw in travel bags and maybe some of the products I could give away I don't know hmm the wave spray maybe we could try that oh that sounds nice we also have the sun safety kit this is $39 you get 14 items with one full size and each purchase supports the memorial salon Kettering cancer center so the one from first aid beauty is in here also the one from super goop is in here Ooh, I'm really interested in this one have the, the SPF from Drunk Elephant. There's a product from Kate Somerville. There's uh, from Kula, from Dermalogica, from Lancome. Ooh, that looks like a nice one too. I mean, I wouldn't need to use like all of those all at once, but even to just be able to give away, I think that would be kind of nice too. Um, so I'm definitely really interested in that one. And then the Deluxe Perfume Sampler set, and these are all going to be available April 7th online and April 9th in stores. Yeah, I'm excited about those. So those those two definitely really caught my eye. I really do like the Sephora favorite sets. I've purchased a lot myself. Um, and yeah, those those two specifically really caught my attention. See that Morphe is doing a collaboration with Saweedy, if that's how you say her name. So their first music artist collab includes a festival inspired collection. This is the backstage with Saweedy. There's the Icy Lips Trio, three shimmering shades. There's a 24 pan eyeshadow palette. There's a mini continuous setting mist in the scent Sweet Peach. And then the VIP Sweep by Sweetie Face and Eye Brush Kit will be available March 20th. Um, I've actually seen her. She performed at the American Influencer Awards. She was like the performer. She only did one song and I was kind of sad because it was like, it was her well, like her really well known song. I think there's a lot of bad words in it. So you definitely don't want me to say it here. But I was like, we were like up in our seats and we were grooving. And I was like, dang, this is fun. And then she sang the song and it was over and I was like, oh come back, sing more songs. <laughs> it was kind of funny, but she did a great job. Um, the eyeshadow palette, I, I, I can't really say anything very much interests me from the lips 
um, to the eyeshadow palette. I, I don't think I would get a ton of use out of it, the brush collection. I do like the continuous setting spray. I don't know if I would love a scent on it, um, but not very intrigued by that collection. I'm not picking up a lot from Morphe these days. Uh, there is a new palette. I'm like, oh, where are we at time-wise? Um, there's a new palette coming from Sugar Pill. So they came out with a kind of like this pill palette. They came out with one previously. They've come out with the C2 capsule collection now. So this is $42. It looks just like the other one, except we have different shades here. Um, we have kind of like a turquoise blue, um, like a yellow in there. The first one didn't really call to me either, just kind of like the format and everything. It just doesn't wasn't really something that screamed me. Uh, this one's going to be available March 14th online, and it's going to be an Ulta exclusive. I don't think that I need it. The colors don't really call to me from this one either, so I will pass over that one. So the nail polish company Holo Taco, if I'm saying that correctly, is coming out with a new unicorn skin collection in a limited edition collector's box. that includes three iridescent flaky top coats and two cream polishes, so you can transform your nails with more than one magical combination. It's going to be $13 each, or you can get the full box for $60. Um, I do get my nails done at a nail salon. I do the dip powder, so I don't really... Um, use nail polishes on their own. I haven't tried this brand yet myself. It is uh, from Simply Nail Logical. I believe this is her brand. But these colors, I think like everything that they've come out with has looked really cool. I just personally don't need to stock up myself. And then the final item, Fenty is coming out with some more new products. I feel like Fenty is all over the place lately. Um, coming out with new releases, not like all over the place, woo woo, but you know what I mean. Um, so we have Cognic Candy by Fenty Beauty, shine from head to toe in this Island Gal Dewy Glow, a copper shade. So we have the Body Lava for $59 and also the Diamond Bomb, and this is $39. These definitely look really beautiful. I don't feel like I need it though. The Body Lava is just not a product that I tend to go for very often. I don't wear it myself. It's snowing again. I, w I was wearing my Sherpa up until like 20 minutes ago when I had to film this video. Okay, it's probably been longer than 20 minutes, let's be serious. But um, I don't need it, especially at the moment. And then the Diamond Bomb, the Jelly Powder Bouncy Formula. Um, it is a highlighter. Again, don't think that I really need a new highlighter at the moment. But after that, that is going to wrap it up for this week's Will I Buy It video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you are still having fun watching YouTube videos and getting your mind off other things. Um, and again, this one was like one of the most special Will I Buy It videos for me, um, talking about my collaboration with Ofra. And again, thank you to everyone who's been supporting and sharing and messaging me and commenting. It, it definitely means a lot. I would love to know what you are interested in this week. Um, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments. And of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Remember to wash your hands. <laughs>